Can I talk to you, my brother? You. Yes, you who's looking back. No, you. You. Yes. Come. Where is your mother? Huh? She's in Nigeria. Let's pray for your mother. Okay. Hmm? For her to live long. All right. Are you hearing me? Yes. When was the last time you spoke to your mom? Um, on Sunday, last Sunday. On last week Sunday. Yeah. Did she tell you that she's not okay? No. She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me. Let's pray for mama to be healed and her to live long. All right. Number two, let's pray for you to do well where you are. Okay. Hmm? okay. Because where you are, it's like you are digging a hole. That is true. And nothing is coming out of it. Yeah. As you live here, God is going to bless you. Amen. And your mother will live to Amen. see your blessings. Amen. In Jesus' name. Can I pass it? Come, my sister. You. Yes, so you. You. Come. Who wants to marry you? It's him. You. Are you sure you want to marry her? Yes. Yes. If God gives you money, will you marry her? Yes. But you people, you need to live right. Okay. Okay. Where were you staying before? Okay, I originally I come from Venda. Yeah, but now I'm, I'm in Joburg. Where are you staying with? With him. That's why I'm saying, where were you staying before? Okay, I was staying alone before I met him. So why aren't you staying alone anymore? I want to pray for you for marriage. Amen. For disappointment not to come again. Amen. Because you've been disappointed so many times. Too much. Hmm? Too much. That's true. And I'm seeing another disappointment coming. That's why I want to pray for you. Okay. So that you don't face disappointment. But you need to do the right thing. Why not get out, wait for marriage, then you will move in together? Yeah, I'll try and do that. Try. I will do it. <laughs> I will do it. Because this thing that you are doing, it's blocking everything you are doing. You. Mm. As of now, you don't even have a job. Eh? I do work. And like, I'm not employed, but I work. I'm self-employed. But I'm not seeing any work. You're saying you're work, you're self-employed, but I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Your hands are empty. By meaning I'm not seeing any work. You are working, you are self-employed, like you are saying. But yeah. there's nothing in your hands. Or is there any progress in what you're doing? Not Maybe really. I'm not talking to a right person, I'm, I'm talking to a wrong person. No, I'm just pushing, because I've just recently started, not long ago. I'll pray for you for marriage, but can you do the right thing? Yeah. Yes. Let me put it this way, because when you get home, you're going to twist my words. Can you pack her out of your apartment? Well, actually, I'm the one who advised that we should stay together, because she's, she was staying um, separate, I was staying separate, based on the fact that uh, the job I'm doing is like... Is not getting enough money, so that's the reason why I said let's stick together. So that, but as long as you guys are together, staying in one place, whatever you are doing is not going to prosper. Okay, okay, that's why I'm saying, can you pack her out of your apartment? Okay, okay I would do that because I know she's, she's very reasoning, she will give you a thousand reasons. Hmm? 
She's going to convince you when you get home that but the money is small. Please, can you pack out my sister? Yeah, I'll do that. God will bless you. What you are doing will prosper and what he's doing will prosper. Amen. But as long as you are staying together, you people are closing your own blessings outside. Okay. Okay. Can I pray with you? Please. Yes. yes. Lift up your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus. I break the cycle of disappointment. In Jesus' name. You are free. You are free, both of you. Amen. You, are, you will prosper, but if you do what I said. Amen. Amen. Yeah? Yes. Amen. And you, you need to talk to your mother. Okay. Are you hearing me? Fix things with your mother. Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? Not really. <laughs> Don't worry, you will know what you get. There's nothing I said that you know really. Okay. <laughs> Go fix things with your mother. Because your mother is not happy with you. Okay. Are you hearing me? Okay. And God will bless you. Can you tell us your name and where you come from and also introduce the person next to you? Okay, my name is Wisdom Eboka. I came from Nigeria. And the person next to me is my future wife-to-be. And can you tell us the prophecy you received today from Prophetess Tendro Simono and also confirm it? Yeah, the prophecy I received today is 100% true. Yeah. She said that um, when last did I phone my mom? I told her it was uh, last Sunday, uh, and she said if uh, my mom told me if she is not feeling fine, yeah, actually my mom won't tell me because uh, she wouldn't want me to, like, to be kind of worried. So that is the reason why I said it is true. And another thing uh, you said about me staying together with my partner, that is not true. Uh, is not good. Yeah, I see that one to be, yeah, it's true. I'm not supposed to stay with my partner with, um, before marriage, you see. So I believe and I accept it. And I say now, bef now and I'm going to work according to the prophecy. Yeah. And were you expecting that God would locate you concerning your mother and the relationship that you are in? Yes. And how do you feel that she has given you an advice of saying you should not stay together until you are married? Yeah. Um, since she had advised me not to stay together until I get married, I would do that. Can you also confirm to us uh, what the woman of God has said to you guys today? Yes, I just I confirm everything to be true. The prophecy that she gave to us uh, is really true. I confirm everything to be true. And now that she has prayed for you, what is it that you believe God will do for your lives? I believe that as we, we do what she asked us to do, as a woman of God, everything, all things in our lives are going to change for good. Any words of encouragement to the viewers? Oh, my words of encouragement to the viewer is um, should believe in God, hope on God, and one day God will see them through. Let's pray for your business to grow. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Because right now, there is a lot of delay. Yes. Hmm? Yes, it's true. That is overdue now. Yes. Things keep dragging long and dragging long and dragging long. Yes. And now your patience, mm -hmm. it's wearing down. You will prosper. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. They will call you. Amen. Yeah? Yes. To come and collect your finances. Hallelujah. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Pretoria Carter. I'm staying orphans from there. 
And can you tell us the prophecy you received from Prophetess Tendo Simone and also confirm it? Uh, Prophetess Tendo said that uh, my business will grow. And it's true, I've been waiting. I've been getting some disappointment. And she also spoke about the finances. Yes, it's true, we've been waiting for our finances, for our money for a long time. So I believe, as she have said it, and also on Sunday, Apostle has mentioned that it will come to pass. Amen. And how do you feel about that? I'm very happy because I'll be able to finance my business and it's going to grow. As she, as she has said, it, that it will grow. Words of encouragement to the viewers? Uh, to the viewers out there, what I would like to tell you is, is that you need to be patient because things of God sometimes take long because God will be gathering the best for you. So it's what I can say, that keep on praying and keep on trusting on God. Amen.